I'm Sarah Gore and this is Open House NYC. We are checking out some fab homes on both coasts today, including this massive Bel Air estate all you golf lovers out there are definitely going to want to see. And we are in the West Village to check out this sprawling riverfront wonder. This hilltop home is so much more than its views, but what views they are. And Bravo's Million Dollar Listing New York's Tyler Whitman shows off this Madison Avenue mansion. But first, how this dapper designer brought modern touches to this traditional Connecticut estate. The first thing you notice is the oversized lighting. My motif, go big or go home. Welcome to Open House NYC. Today we are coming to you from this impressive 33 foot wide mansion in Sutton Place. It's filled with the kind of classic and luxurious design details that make you feel like you've stepped into Gilded Age New York. As you step in through the stately front door, you're greeted by this double height foyer that connects all the main spaces on the entertaining level. The layout is a throwback in all the right ways where every space is defined and serves a purpose. The sprawling great room, the intimate dining room with its own terrace, there's even a library. And let's not forget the master suite, which occupies the entire third floor, one of five bedrooms in the home. Oh, and it also happens to have a garden and a roof terrace where you can enjoy one of the more iconic views in the entire city. So care to test your real estate acumen? What do you think the asking price on this well over 9,500 square foot mansion is? We'll reveal it at the end of the show, but in the meantime, we are taking your guesses on all the usual social media suspects at Open House TV. We are getting started in New Canaan, Connecticut with the ever dapper designer, Corey Damon Jenkins. Check out how he brought pizzazz to the more traditional aspects of the home by incorporating color and pattern in surprising ways. Hello there, I am Corey Damon Jenkins. I'm an interior designer based in Detroit and New York City, and welcome to my client's home here in New Canaan, Connecticut. I would describe my design aesthetic as a fresh continental mix of elegance and modernity, a new take on traditional. This project enabled me to explore that very design philosophy. Let's take a closer look. All living rooms should be functional, comfortable, stylish, and cozy. But in order to make it memorable, you have to have something different, something fresh, off the beaten path. I chose a very soft, mint-colored wall covering for this space. This selection of wall covering had a great outcome. The fireplace really pops, as well as the wall brackets over the sofa. Of course, the biggest anchor in this room is the sofa, which you cover in this beautiful lavender-colored linen. And the tufted back gives it that traditional flair, obviously. But then we put this layering of pillows and, and lumbars and things of that nature to give it some depth and some energy in this space. Originally, this table, this cocktail table, was a black shimrazzery Asian piece. To keep things different, I decided to dip it in white lacquer paint, and it gives a nice juxtaposition against the sofa as the main anchor in the room. The first thing you notice in the dining room is the mirrored wall finish. When I'm doing traditional design, I like to take it to a place where the room is not taking itself too seriously. The dining room chairs and table were a set. I'm not always a fan of sets of furniture, so to give this particular project a new spin, we took the side chairs and we dipped them once again in white lacquer paint. And they really pop and contrast brightly against these dark stained floors. With good interior design, it's important not to always throw the baby out with the bathwater. So in this dining room, the chandelier was already here. It was gorgeous, like a piece of jewelry hanging in this space. This open concept space includes the kitchen, the breakfast nook, and the family room. This is the most fashion forward space because of the usage of patterns and textures. For example, check out this chair. Very traditional frame, and yet this very modern aesthetic with the fabric here by Kelly Wurstler gives it a bit of a punch. So with pattern play, you have to be very judicious with scale. That way it doesn't give you vertigo when you walk into the space. So with this Killam chair, for example, this fabric here is very large in life as far as the scale of the pattern, but then you temper it with a more sedated pattern selection. And in this way, the room flows and it's not overdone. And as for the breakfast nook, the first thing you notice is the oversized lighting. My motif, go big or go home. And you can see it all the way from the dining room. 
I also dipped the side shears in a light gray paint to contrast them brightly against the farmhouse table that my clients have had for years. It's all about subtlety and yet you still make a great statement with those little finishing touches. I hope you've enjoyed this tour of my client's home here in New Canaan, Connecticut. This project really proves that you can take the best of the past and remix it for today. Corey reminds us it's important to have a theme and carry it from space to space, which really brings visual cohesion to any home. Coming up in just a few, we join Tyler Whitman of Bravo's Million Dollar Listing New York at this surprising entertainer's dream home. Welcome back to Open House NYC. Now we're in Midtown South with Tyler Whitman of Bravo's Million Dollar Listing New York. He shows us around one of his newest listings, appropriately dubbed The Mansion. This full floor residence boasts nearly 3,000 square feet of interiors, four bedrooms, and just about the same in outdoor space, plus one very special private amenity. See for yourself. Hey everybody, I am Tyler Whitman, and if I look excited, it's because I'm about to show you the most unique property in all of New York City, and we're actually already inside because it's the entire floor of the building. Let me show you around. So as soon as you enter the foyer, you immediately know you're gonna be seeing a spectacular home because you have these marble floors, you have the Venetian plaster walls here, and we're just getting started because follow me and check out this living room. This is a New York City living room that dreams are made of, and it's unlike any other living room I've ever seen. So let's start with the ceilings. You have 18 foot floor to ceiling windows, which to put that into perspective, I'm six feet tall. That means I can stand on my head twice and only then would I be touching the top. You have this open concept where you can do the dining room, you could do living room, you could flip it if you want. There's incredible flexibility. And do you notice that we're in the heart of Manhattan and you don't hear a thing? That's because these windows are triple glazed, top of the line quality for complete silence. You can enjoy this home in absolute serenity. Other details you're gonna notice in here are these wide oak, wide plank floors. And I'm just gonna give you a little teaser, but the access to the terrace here, which is arguably the best terrace in the entire city, is looking pretty good today. So because this kitchen is open to the entertaining space, obviously it's gonna have to look good and this kitchen does not fail. It's open, it's airy, it has great natural light. And these counters are these sleek white counters, but they're actually quartzite, which is a very high-end expensive material, very durable. In addition, they have all Miele appliances, they have wine storage. You really have every single thing you can need. It's begging for the party of your life. I just hope I'm invited. So this apartment has four bedrooms and four and a half bathrooms. So each bedroom has its own private ensuite bathroom. You continue to have the high ceilings throughout the home and every single bedroom also has access to the private terrace. This is just like the perfect way to start and finish your day. All right, it's the moment you've all been waiting for. Let's go outside. This place has 6,000 square feet of interior and exterior living space. It's no wonder they call it the mansion. And over half of that belongs to this terrace. And if you think you've seen something special, check this out because you have a 50-foot private heated swimming pool on your private terrace. Imagine the pool parties, imagine the barbecues. Every person you know is gonna be begging to come hang out at your place, and probably a few people you don't. What I really love about this terrace is all of the details, because this decking, for instance, makes it feel like you're at a resort, and yet you can still feel all of the energy of Madison Avenue. It's really incredible space, and there's so much flexibility of what you can create up here. And quite frankly, I can't wait to see what you pull off. 
Well, that concludes our tour of this incredible mansion. And I hope you can see in the beginning, I was not exaggerating. There was no hyperbole. There truly is no other home like this in all of New York City. So that should make your purchasing decision pretty easy. Give me a call and let's do a deal. Thanks for coming by. Coming up after the break, we are in LA at a modern home with views from, well, every room. Stick around, you'll wanna see this. Welcome back. Now we're in Tony Belair, California at this architectural gem. Architect Zoltan Pali took advantage of the beautiful hillside location by actually designing the home in a Y shape that allows for indoor-outdoor living from virtually every area of the home. But innovative design aside, it also has to be comfortable, inviting, and of course, livable. See how he did it. Hello there, my name is Zoltan Pali. I am principal of SPF Architects and welcome to the Orm Road House Project. When you first come to the house, you notice that it has a unique shape. It's kind of a shape of a Y, and the reason we did that is to create three different yard types. They are connected visually, but they are clearly three distinctive spaces. The plan of the house really allows a sort of intimacy to occur. Within the middle of the Y, we located the, the central stairway, which connects all three levels. You know, you always know where you're at. You're always connected to the other spaces. That, to me, creates intimacy. Here we are within the living room, and this is a prime example of what most of the spaces feel and read like. It has views on all three sides. You're always walking around the edge of the house. This is how you're mostly connected to the exterior. The way I see it is when you're moving through the house. If you follow the lines of the house, you are not only connected to the exterior, you're also connected to everything that you pass by, and of course, you end up at the kitchen and in the family area. On the upper level, is really the sleeping quarters. It's the family. There's a master, there's a mini master, and then there's three other bedrooms. Within the mini master, one view of it looks toward the Getty Center. We were able to position a freestanding tub that looks right out at the Getty, and we call it the Getty Tub. Master Suite is a 2,000 square foot, basically one large volume, where the bed, the closets, the bathroom elements, the, the tub, everything kind of floats within that space. And the master itself too becomes part of the exterior when you want it to be by the use of the sort of sliding doors that go away into the pocket. I can imagine that anyone who stays here might actually feel like the king of the mountain. Out here was really designed as a reflection or a, a continuation of the interior. You'll notice that the, the patterning and the way the pool is shaped is mimicking the shape of the house. The upper floor overhangs to create a shaded area by which to sit under at the same time while relaxing. And the whole idea was to feel like you're floating above the city and then view and, and see the Santa Monica Bay in the distance. I think what we try to achieve here is a strong blend between architecture and livability. Hey, we put a lot of love into this place. We hope you've enjoyed it and hope to see you next time. We have so much more ahead, including this sleek West Village apartment with Hudson River views. And if you're still curious about the price of this well over 9,500 square foot mansion in some places, we'll reveal it at the end of the show. But in the meantime, guess away. Flex that real estate muscle. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Open House NYC. Now we're in the far west village to check out this stylish corner apartment with stunning Hudson River views. This dramatic open plan entertaining space with western and northern exposures is just the start of what makes this place so special. Let's join broker Brian Lewis for a tour. Hey, I'm Brian Lewis, associate broker at Compass, and today I'm gonna show you around 400 West 12th Street, Superior Eek. This is a three bed, three and a half bath dream home with great river views, and I cannot wait to show you around. Uh, actually guys, it's this way.
One of the things I love about this home is the way this hallway unfolds, leading you to that river. Here in this coveted southeast corner, nearly 2,700 square foot home, the Hudson River is literally your front yard. An architect named Robert A.M. Stern, one of my favorites, built this building. It was inspired by the original Superior Inc. factory that stood right here. He used the same architectural elements, arches, high ceilings, big scale, made it feel like it's always been here, and the result is timeless. And you can really appreciate these grand proportions right here in this huge living room. This is a dramatic room with 11 windows facing the river. You've got multiple seating areas, herringbone floors, French doors onto a little Juliet balcony, and everything is wide open. The perspective here is grand, gracious, yet very comfortable. And nothing says easy living like this big old dining bar. You could seat seven, eight friends right here, enjoy a casual meal, showcasing this amazing kitchen, or have a more formal dining experience right here in the open dining room. And the proportions of this lofted living room are so large, the owner created this divider behind this lattice work. So let us explain to you what she created. A bonus den. This is one of my favorite rooms because it creates a very intimate space for TV, for socializing. Where else do you get a room that's so large that you can create a den? Right here. We're done with the slow motion. Got it, but you know what we're not done with? This bedroom, this is the master suite. It's king size, got a king size bed, king size windows, king size river view, amazing walk-in closet, a bonus closet, and a five piece bath. What we also have is two other generous bedroom suites. They're big, they have great closets, they have ensuite baths, and they both have great views. One of which has a glass wall, so you can bring that river view right into the rest of the home. Pretty great. So I've had a great time today showing you around Superior Inc, 400 West 12th Street. And if you're interested in seeing this three bed, three and a half bath home with these epic views, then give me a call. Thanks for coming by. Right after the break, we head back to Cali to explore this golf lover's paradise. We'll see you in just a few. Welcome back to Open House NYC. Now we're back in Bel Air at a stately contemporary manor that actually sits above the sixth hole fairway of the Bel Air Country Club. This property is the epitome of California luxury. You have to see it to believe it. Take a look. Hi, I'm Rainey Williams with Williams & Williams Estates. Today we're taking a look at 10701 Bellagio Road located in the neighborhood of Bel Air, California. Let's take a look inside of this 24,000 square foot mansion that will blow your mind. Let's get inside. Here we are in this oversized foyer with 22 foot ceilings that immediately takes you into the living room where you have a complex space of three different sitting areas. Directly to the left of the foyer, you have an office that is built for a mogul. You also have to the right of the foyer an architectural staircase that's actually zero deflection, meaning there is no wall, there is nothing holding it up. We are here in your very own master suite. You have an entire kitchen, so you don't have to leave your master bedroom for anything. We're going to take a look at two of the most fabulous closets you've ever seen. The dark side modeled after Tom Ford and the lighter side modeled after the Chanel store. Right around the corner is a spa, a gym, all while overlooking your black bottom zero edge pool. This is a must see and we're going there now. 
We're out here in the backyard, which really is the place that sums up this entire mansion. It is built for opulence, but it's also built for family living, big entertaining. You have this massive hot tub, which I love because everybody can gather there. It parlays into the swimmer's pool and then carries on to your acre of land where the kids can run around in the grass. I want to thank you so much for taking today's tour with me. This home truly does have it all, from scale to land size. Thank you for today, and I will see you soon. Well, we promised to reveal the price of this elegant Sutton Place mansion, boasting over 9,500 square feet of classic New York luxury. But any last minute guesses? Well, here it is. Were your estimates close? Let us know on Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook at Open House TV. Thanks for watching. Like what you see on the show? Well, be sure to subscribe to our channel. We have so many more beautiful homes to share. It's all about love. Share these homes, you know?